so to use the uh, mind map the sphere plane so first you have to go to this uh, i'll just show you this is the site you will have to go here searchforge.net so here you type uh, free plane so you find it here this all we are now talking about this free plane uh, you will be taken to this page uh, you can also uh, have a look at these examples already mentioned here what this free plane mind map can do and the similar applications are here also but uh, instead of confusing with all let us the one which I have used and I'm sure about is this so if I click on this you can see uh, just at a glance what all it can do see all your logical you know flow chart or whatever you want the way you want you can just manage it this way this is the example then you can just have a look at this also like this see you can arrange all your documents all your stuff data in this arranged fashion and it will be really easy to uh, handle and when especially multiple documents are simultaneously, simultaneously progressing it will be easy for uh, all of us to manage and synchronize them while working on it this is also a video here this video is pretty long so i'm not going to record it now you can uh, check it at youtube also because you click and it will open up here with youtube link itself after clicking download your file will start downloading now we don't need to wait for this because i have already downloaded so we will go back apart from this free plane download what we need is you can uh, you can use google.com i do not use google.com much click here and you will go to this site click here you will be taken to this site you have to click here and once clicking here the java 64 bit or 32 bit depends on the system you have you can use it it is about 79 mbps you will get this you download it where you want uh, so i don't need to download uh, i already have it installed so let us go to the main application so while opening it will ask you what kind of map you want to go with so big map or whatever see you can see this Busan map or Dracula or whatever so you can just click on anything so let us keep it standard 1.6 whatever okay and just click okay and it will open up with just a single node in between the screen center and nothing else so this is a general interface uh, first time you open this will open like this there will be nothing you will see it control and scroll you will zoom in control scroll out you will zoom out you will have to click here so this panel will open these are the nodes uh, sorry not nodes the tags and this is the information panel or the panel where you can have a lot of customizations this will have for uh, you all these format attributes calendar presentations so uh, let me just give you overview this format will always deal with whatever formatting of the nodes and the days the color background thickness line type arrows or whatever you want to deal with say dotted dash or whatever spots anything you can do font size color everything is given here you can change whatever you want icons also you can update change icon backgrounds icon borders or anything is uh, given here edit edge colors everything is here it's a huge panel you can just have a look then attributes attributes are not much familiar because the last time when we used it was almost two years before and this has been included recently i guess i'm not sure how to use this but i'm very much sure it is a pretty powerful tool because in mind map uh, this mind map itself it will give you ability to use it like excel sheet so it's pretty powerful then calendar calendar also is a new thing you can uh, uh, schedule the things see this remind me at this date insert date in selection or remind me later or whatever you can schedule the things here uh, it gives is it alarms also so everything you get it here the way formatting and everything then uh, you have this presentation type even this also is new to me uh, i haven't used this before 
so you will have uh, all these uh, parameters here of the presentation so there are a lot of additions uh, done in this application so i will just uh, see the toolbar here what you see here so what i can do is this is simply it's a new child node so i get one child node added here this is the first ever node i see here hello all so let us start with this and maybe now uh, if i want to add right click here and you can right click you will it will give a lot of menus here so the initial things will start from here add node add a child node or an new sibling node or something like this so I, I just click on this child node hello all and then let us say hello world so maybe to this i just put it here i just now instead here right click and go to sibling node i just press enter and i will get so i just type it one two three again i enter i i just type it four five six enter sorry um I just left this blank so zero 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 I can put it one three so something like this so this is how this typically is arranged you can arrange all the nodes like this now uh, this is simple you can just click and they will be collapsed you can this is x1 you can drag like this like this here you will get everything if i want to change the color of text you see the text color is changed here you see here the text color is changed now you will get every option here what kind of your general appearance you would prefer say for example i will go for a bubble so it will be changed to this kind of a feel here as a simplistic form i'm showing you i just click here then maybe i will put this bubble i will put this uh, maybe i will go for this to have uh, something like this like okay oval oval shape then uh, i'll go for see rectangle simple maybe i just want different shapes so something so you, you will always have options for making the way you want them like this hexagon or whatever shape you want you can also have control of whatever look and feel you want this you can also control it here from if you want it this way this here so you can just increase this by typing the value and you can see this so if i type it much i just want to make it thicker bold or something prominent to highlight something or else i can just make it as slim as possible then i can go here so i will also um get this for the node borders so if i want the node border to be something like this i can just see like this so i can if i go for here and just go for this something like this so so i can change everything so these are the basic nodes you can make so here so again i click here i add another node it will directly be added, added to this so it has come on this side now so i'll just type it something then i can rearrange relocate something like this so wherever i drag at this i can bring it this side it will now something like this i can bring it here one more thing here is for example if i want to add something to this if i add a child node child node id is a insert button we'll add the short keys here given so you can use that so i just add one uh, then i just sibling then i just add two then i just add oh sorry you just add two enter enter again three enter enter four uh, five six seven something like this so i just collapse them for example I ju i'm just uh, now imagine there is a huge text here not just a simple thing okay so for example let us go to the website and uh, some website let me just go to this website how do I, I go to this and then uh, mind map so that mind map so for example i just want to pick up some paragraph here say for example i pick up this copy just go back uh, i just want to paste it here so simple 
I have this whole thing with me. I can drag this out, something like this, okay? Or else I can just uh, add node, uh, new previous sibling node, or the new parent node. I can add a parent node to this. So this one node is here. Seven will be here. And then under this seven, this paragraph, I have it here. So this is uh, what I can completely customize. Uh, so I can just select all the text. And as you know, we get all the controls here. Uh, you can control the background. You can control everything. So I just want this, which is OK. So, so you can have all the customizations. It's gone. It's because of this, like this. So, can I, so uh, what I can do is if I want all this uh, whole thing to come onto this, I just drag it here. Uh, see, not like this. I just drag it to this end. So, for, I, I show it here. You see this? See, this is different. This is different. I just connect it here. So, the whole thing has come under this tree. This hello all and under this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so here it comes so whatever i want i can just i can have my own uh, documents or text i can even insert the document links or uh, whatever i can imagine uh, whatever i imagine i can put it here in mind map it's very flexible very light now the important part so for example i i, I go here hello all and i just want highlight I, I just want to highlight it to somebody who is coming in morning or the another shift so i just click it say for example uh, i just want to mark it as a unwanted I just i click here so i just highlighted it with this text so this is what so uh, I can add this, keep on adding these tags. I can add the links. I can do whatever the things I want to do. I can add this, see these markups or annotations we can say. So all can be added. So this is the flexibility. You can control everything. Uh, whatever you choose, you can make it bold or you can make it italic or you can make it change the color, font, everything you can change. I can make it large. I can make it even smaller and then font and everything everything so this is a general interface now we have just been through so in next stage we will go for a little more interesting lookout